to God and I give God all the glory for the privilege to come through to you today as we reflect on the Word of God. My name is Tunde Dada, a pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family, and we're based in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the topic, practical spiritual mentoring. Practical spiritual mentoring. Our text is taken from the book of John, the 13th chapter. I read from the uh, 12th verse all through to verse 17. So when he had washed their feet, taken his garments and sat down again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and the Lord, and you say, Well, for so I have. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Our memory verse is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, the first verse. Paul says, imitate me just as I also imitate Christ. Paul had the confidence to charge the Corinthians that they should imitate him as he to continue to imitate Christ. From our reflection yesterday, we touch on the need for a good foundation. The Bible says in Psalm 11 verse 3, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Mentors, through their direction, Vocal and unvocal continue to provide direction to their mentees. This is a relationship whereby the mentee is learning and finding the answers to so many life questions without necessarily being confined to a classroom. Life itself is a classroom where we learn a lot of things. Those who have privilege to take us through lessons in life, they must understand that it is not only a privilege, but it is also a huge responsibility. And that is why Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 19, Jesus said, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach them so, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Let me ask you, are you providing negative mentoring to those who are using you as their role model in life? This has serious consequences. My prayer for you is that you will not end up as a candidate of perdition in the name of our Lord Jesus. Do you know that in Christendom today, many people want to answer big titles and they want to be seen to be doing great things. Jesus taught the people the importance of servant leadership. This is leadership that prefers to serve than to be served. Such leaders a few in our churches today. They are few in our communities today. Yet we need so many of them. I pray that the Lord will make you one in the name of our Lord Jesus. Seven leaders are mostly needed in our society today. Our action point, I wanted to say to the Lord in prayer, Father, I thank you for giving me a perfect spiritual mentoring through our Lord Jesus. Please, Lord, make me a perfect spiritual mentor as well. I want you to pray that Jehovah God will pray for you in the name of our Lord Jesus. I pray that the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, uh, you know, for our, Lord, uh, for our Father and the Lord too, that the Lord will continue to make him an avenue of blessing to this generation in the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you for being part of today's uh, telecast. I hope you have been blessed. I pray that as you journey through this day, that God will journey with you. I look forward to seeing you uh, uh, next time. And until then, have a great day and the Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name. Bye for now.